30 years now since the Romanian Revolution and the execution of the Romanian dictator Nicolae Ceausescu, whose regime brought poverty and misery to the majority of the population. Now, there's no museum dedicated to this dark part of history in Romania itself, but here in Brussels, one can visit the European House of History to find out more about it, albeit from a European perspective. More details in today's Brief from Brussels. This is 30 years ago. The communist regime of Nicolae Ceausescu. Romania was a closed country watched over by a tight secret service. 1,000 people died. Among them, 17-year-old Radu Ionescu. He was killed there together with 13 other uh, young people and this sweater is what the family received a few days afterwards he was wearing this uh, this sweater they never had an explanation of how exactly he died Nicola Ceausescu ruled with an iron fist his much feared secret police the Securitate had half a million informants in a country of 22 million intellectuals were the main targets like the Nobel Peace Prize winner, the German-Romanian writer Herta Müller, whose secret files can be found here at the European House of History in Brussels. If you had a typewriter in 1980s Romania, you would have to go each year to the police, you were called to the police each year, to give a sample writing of your typewriter. It was certainly what we now call on, on Orwellian state. It certainly tried to control, thinking that like this, they will maintain their um, stability and their control over the population. Romania had the only revolution that saw the perpetrator sentenced to death and executed. But there are still many questions that remain unanswered. The reasons why the Romanian revolution was so brutal I f are still unknown to us. This is uh, a big part of the questions that uh, historians, museums, but uh, all Romanians are still uh, waiting to be answered. 30 years on, the big question being asked at the European House of History is what the revolution meant for Europe overall. The lesson of the Romanian revolution is most of all a lesson of uh, hope, of freedom, of people finally um, regaining their voices, stepping out, into the streets, regaining their dignity, their courage and saying we want no more of this. The European Parliament in Strasbourg will adopt a resolution Thursday calling on Romania to boost its efforts to clarify the truth regarding events.